I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, a past president of the North American Menopause Society, and I'm joined by a member of the Board of Trustees of NAMS, Dr. Lisa Larkin. Lisa is a woman's health internist. She's also the founder of Ms. Medicine, which is a woman's health company committed to advancing evidence-based, gender-specific primary care. I want to talk about headaches, women and headaches. Why are there so many out there, and are they undertreated? So right, so this is very important for um, women to know, which is migraines are the most common type of headache in women, and they're highly prevalent. 18% of women are having them, and the majority go undiagnosed and untreated for many, many years. Why? Why? So women self-medicate, um, you know, they think they're tension headaches, they take Advil or Excedrin, um, and I don't think they realize the significance in what really uh, can happen, which is that infrequent migraine headaches left untreated can present progress into chronic migraines and much more frequent headaches, um, and that they should really uh, come talk to their doctor about it and, and get appropriate therapy because there's really good therapy out there. So if I'm a woman and, and you know it's just really interfering with my life, light sensitivity, can't go to work, need to be in a quiet, dark room, when some women vomit with their headaches, what's out there for me? Right, the first thing I would say that when you are going to go to your doctor to talk about it, what's very helpful is if you can have a little bit of, do a little bit of a headache diary so you understand when you're getting them, what the triggers are. There's largely, um, in most women, there's a hormonal component at least some of the time for the trigger of the headaches. But that can be very helpful for a consumer to understand what the trigger is when you're getting them. Um, and then talk to your physician about uh, therapies because what we know is a overuse of over-the-counter medications can be associated with getting worsening headaches, rebound headaches, and that the medications that are available, these things called triptans, um, when used appropriately and early in the onset of headache, of migraine headaches, are highly effective um, as abortive agents and, you know, really can improve, uh, shorten the duration and allow people to return to work. So with these medications, is there an upper limit? We talked about if you over-the-counter medicate, you can get a rebound. Right. Is there so many a month that you can take? Right, so in general, we look at using six per month, six migraines per month, when then we would really wanna to talk to patients about having a preventative therapy, which is a medication then that you would take daily, and now with the new class of medications, potentially a monthly injection uh, to prevent the headaches. So let's talk about that new medication because I do see it on television as a consumer. Right. What is that about? Right, so um, up until this introduction of this new class of injectable medications, and the name, and, and consumers don't have to remember, but they're called CGRP drugs. Prior to this, we were using um, medications that had a lot of side effects um, for migraine prevention. So some of the antidepressants, some of the anti-seizure medications, and actually Botox um, in um, a certain delivery way uh, is very beneficial for uh, migraine prevention. All of the older drugs have side effects. This new class of medication now is really um, one of the successes of research translating into uh, advancing patient care. They're targeted monoclonal drugs with very low side effect profiles that target the pathway in the brain that's triggering the migraine. Um, and they're highly effective with low side effect profiles. And it's really, I would tell you, a new day in migraine management. So for women out there who, A, are having any headaches, they should talk to their clinician um, and really talk about abortive therapy. Um, and if they're severe and frequent, really talk to their cl clinician about new preventative therapies because these new options are really, really great and I think are a game changer for migraines. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you.